Hi guys, so I'm now back with my November favourites. I can't believe that it is now December. This year has just completely flown by and I know pretty much everyone <laughs> says that. It's just gone so quickly. Um, so today I have got quite a few products that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, it is pretty much all makeup products and a lot of them are combination products so products that I've been loving using together so I will start with I'll start with eyelashes first I've got a pair of lashes which I've been loving this month just recently I've been experimenting with applying eyelashes, is, eyelashes is. applying eyelashes and just practicing my application and playing around with different styles so I have been using the duo adhesive and it's not the best, um, but I am enjoying using it with these Demi Wispies by Ardell. They're just from the Natural Collection, and I absolutely love these. They just add a beautiful amount of length on your outer eye, and just make your eyes so wide awake and so girly and pretty looking. So I've been loving using those two together. If you've got any sort of lash glue recommendations, then let me know. Um, it just seems to be a bit... I don't know, it's just a bit iffy. <laughs> and another thing for lashes, I have been loving a couple of mascaras this month. I have been loving my Rocket Volume Express Waterproof Still from Maybelline. I absolutely adore this mascara. It holds my curls all day and it's just absolutely amazing. And then I've been sort of topping it off with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Now I'm not ever so keen on this one by itself, but these two together just create these gorgeous lashes where I don't even have to apply false lashes for them to look like false lashes. So I just want to quickly mention a few lip products this month. And I have been loving these three just here. Actually, I've got four. I tell a lie. Yeah, I've got four. So my most favourite lip liner of all time is definitely this Dior Grage lip pencil. Absolutely stunning. It's basically just your nude lip, just better. Um, it's more of a pinky, brownie toned as well. So it is just a really gorgeous, flattering shade. I've then been loving using either my Maybelline Colour Sensation Pearl in Rosewood Pearl. And then I have been either applying that one or Max Creme de Nude, which is this really gorgeous sort of really nude shade. Mine's really messy because my um, nephew got hold of it and it's melted. But it's still usable, but I just want to pick up a new one. <laughs> and then with the Rosewood Pearl, I have been loving topping that with different lip colours. Um, I find it's a very brown sort of shade and I've just been really enjoying topping Angel on top of it, which is just a it is again like more of a nude shade but it's just got that more hint of pink and I just love wearing that on top of that rosewood shell. It gives that really gorgeous sort of Kylie Jenner lip. Another lip product that I have been loving this month is the Maybelline Colour Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil and it looks like this. It's in this shade at the bottom which looks like this on the back of my hand. It's absolutely gorgeous, especially for this time of year. I'm loving applying it all over my lip. I also like just sort of lining my lip with it and then just blending it down with a lip brush. It gives this gorgeous sort of ombre lip effect and it is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to pick up more of this product. Oh, so let's have a look. For concealers this month, I have been obviously loving my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but I've also been enjoying my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, sort of for like every day, or I also like just applying it down like the centre of my face if I don't want as intense contour. Um, contour, highlight, sorry. Um, so I've applied it down the centre of my face today, so it's just sort of opened my face, but it's not really stuck in the middle, so it's great for every day. And just, I just love it in general. Just love it. I've got a new setting powder that I have been really liking. It is the Maybelline The Matte Maker Mattifying Powder. And mine is in the shade 20 Nude Beige. I've had to get like a few extra products since I've been self tanning a lot more this month. Um, I had to pick up some... Ooh, 
some samples of the uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear just so I can find my right colour before I buy one and you know. So I got some samples and I'm really loving the shade that I'm wearing today. I'm not sure how it is on camera but it is really matching in real life. So I had to get a slightly deeper shade powder and this one is just really really beautiful. It's so velvety smooth and it's just perfect for applying when you blot your face throughout the day because it doesn't cake up on your skin. I applied it today and my skin still looks really glowy. It doesn't look really matte matte um, but it's just got that sort of natural skin look which I absolutely absolutely adore. Skincare product, I'll quickly mix this in in the makeup products. I'm getting sort of confused with what I've spoken about already. But this one is the L'Oreal Palace Skin Perfection Advanced Correcting Serum. I have really been enjoying this. I use it under my jojoba oil as my moisturiser. I use this as a serum underneath that. And it has really improved the texture of my skin. I'll get sort of breakouts and stuff. And using the combination of this and the jojoba oil, it has just cleared them up so quickly. I still get the odd one, but they just get cleared up in their cycle so much quicker with using this product. So an eye product I have is a Rimmel Waterproof Coal Casual? casual in the shade nude and this is one of their scandal eyes and this is in the shade nude like i said it's really just this really beautiful skin toned eyeliner that i've applied on my waterline today it's just not as harsh as a white eye pencil so it just looks a little bit more natural and a little bit more softer because putting a white pencil there is very very harsh most of the time. Another combination that I have really been enjoying just recently is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I am in need, dire need, of picking up a full size of this. This is just the original. And the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. I have absolutely been loving this combination for priming my eyelids before eyeshadow application, whether I'm filming for you guys or just everyday wear. I always, always do this step now. And I think this must be... Nope, I've got <laughs> well, I've got three more products out of this. And um, this is the Sleek Makeup Conceal and Corrector Palette in the shade... Oh, I believe this is number two. I always thought it was light, but it's in the shade number two. And it is just this concealer palette here. So we've got a really light toned concealer here, a more salmony peach concealer there, and we've also got a powder as well. I have really been enjoying mixing these two shades together, crisping out that outer corner of my eyeshadow just recently. You may have seen me constantly using it in makeup tutorials as of, as of late, um, but I've been really enjoying mixing those two together. Um, I use mostly the lighter shade and I add a tiny bit of the salmon, especially now that I'm a little bit more fake tanned. So I've been really, really enjoying using this. It just crispens up. I don't have to use tape around my eyes, which I I will do if I need to have a ridiculously precise line. And I'm using like blacks and stuff and the concealer's just going to smudge everywhere. But, you know, I don't always want to be applying a like sellotape, sticky tape to that delicate eye area on my face. I want it to be a little less harsh and I've just been really really enjoying this concealer trick. I think I first saw Casey Home um, do it and just ever since I've seen her do it I've just literally gone and done it every single time I have done my eyes. If I'm doing like an everyday sort of look then I don't really need to unless I want a really crisp line um, but it's just really nice just to neaten up that outer edge. So my last products I want to mention this video are my brow products that I have really been enjoying just recently. I have been using the Amiga eyeshadow just here and I apply that all over my eyebrow and especially sort of focus on these inner corners here with my angled brow E75 brush from Sigma. So I've been really sort of focusing on filling this inner corner and then I will go in with my 
Dirty Blonde Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream from MAC and really precise that tail out, really sort of carve out where I want the tail to go and just add a little bit more dimension to my eyebrows. And then I have been loving setting them with my MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in Empathetically Blonde. And this combination is amazing. And then this shade just in here in the little MAC 2 eyeshadow is nylon from mac and that's just what i've got as my brow highlight today it's just a really gorgeous bold highlight eyeshadow shade so if you don't want something quite as bold um maybe something like mylar or vanilla from mac they're just a they're just a vanilla -y cream matte shade so they're not going to be as bright a highlight as what nylon is so i think that's everything for my november favorites i know it's september don't know why and so that's everything for my November favourites. I'm pretty sure I haven't forgotten anything. If I have, then I will mention it in my next tutorials to come. I hope you've enjoyed listening to my favourites of the month. And um, be sure to let me know your favourites. And if you've checked out any of these products and how you like them as well. So thank you ever so much for watching as always. I love you all so much and I will talk to you all in my next video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and if you want to see how I created this sort of wearable pop of colour then keep on watching.